as someone who has been in the social media management space for the past nine years I have seen a whole lot of mistakes and I'm like you guys shouldn't be making these mistakes like there are different ways you can improve yourself you can level up and learn from the mistakes of other people in this podcast episode I am going to be sharing with you five mistakes every social media manager should avoid when working with clients you've probably heard people say it time and time again but some people are still making those mistakes hi guys welcome to another episode of the social media manager bible podcast my name is omar balaji akipare i am the social media ogre and i'm all about teaching anyone who cares to listen how to use social media the right way If you are listening to me on any of the podcast platforms, don't forget to follow, don't forget to rate this podcast and leave a review. And if you're watching me on YouTube, hi my besties, hope you guys are doing good today. (laughs) I'm sure you're seeing how beautiful I look. (laughs) All right, let's be serious, let's be serious. Don't forget to follow, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell because I drop videos back-to-back videos that will help you on your social media management journey. I want you to know that as a social media manager, you play a crucial role in a brand's online presence. You are very, very important to how a brand is perceived online. But there are certain mistakes that can hinder the effectiveness and potentially damage the client's relationship with their target audience. Here are five mistakes I feel every social media manager should avoid when working with clients. Number one, neglect to understand the client's business and their industry. I keep saying it over and over and over again. If you're not well familiar with the industry of a particular client, please don't take them on because there are certain linguas, there are certain conversations that you that needs to be had, there are certain terms that you shouldn't even use in a particular industry. One of the most critical mistakes that you can make is failing to actually get a deep understanding of the client's business, their industry, their target audience, and also their competitors. What does this lead to? This can lead to you missing out on important trends and important conversation, you misrepresenting the brand's values or their messagings in your posts, in your captions, in your reply, you creating content that doesn't sit well with the target audience, you or your inability to effectively engage with the target audience and also address their concerns. So what should you do to avoid this number one before you start working with any clients make sure you conduct a thorough research on the client's industry and their competitors number two you want to make sure that you are in regular communication with the client most times you might not understand a whole lot about their business but the more you communicate with them the more you actually become a part of the brand itself make sure you communicate with the client so you stay updated on their business development number three make sure you attend industry relevant events to stay informed about the things that happen in your client's industry it's always very good if you work in a pharmaceutical company if you work in finance make sure you're attending webinars and events that actually talk about these things because you are the social media manager for clients in those industries finally you want to make sure that you stay updated with the news and trends in those industry stay updated not just social media trends not just social media news but you want to also stay updated in the news and trends of your clients industry number two mistake i see a lot of social media managers make is over promising and under delivering don't even make a promise don't promise at all don't over promise just tell a client says i want this give them that don't do you can over deliver but don't even make any promise at all don't don't do that you're giving social media managers a bad name in an effort to win a lot of clients most social media managers promise unrealistic results don't promise them the number of followers you can get don't promise them a particular engagement that this post is going to go viral don't don't do that because these things bring about damaged trusts affects your credibility makes you have strained client relationships and 
you just put yourself under unnecessary stress and it can lead to potential burnout now what should you do set realistic expectations from the very beginning when you start working with a client make sure that you've already set realistic expectations of how many oh look i tell clients it's going to take three months for you to actually see if the strategy i'm applying on your page is actually working so if your followers are not going in the first two months don't blame me i've told you three months because if you're managing a client's page well and you're doing all that matters in three months they should be able to start seeing results also make sure that you clearly communicate what is achievable within specific timelines and budgets if your client does not have a budget for ads Tell them that most of the results you are going to get is organic. Every client should actually have a budget. Make sure that you communicate well with your timelines and your budgets. Also, provide regular updates on the progress you are making and the challenges that you face. When I was working with my last client for YouTube management, at every single point in time when I was facing a huddle or a challenge or a setback, I was always updating her. So make sure you provide regular updates. Be honest. Be honest about the limitations that you're facing and the potential obstacles that might arise from you managing that client or managing their social media or their brand pages and also try as much as possible to focus on delivering quality work over quantity make sure that you are not making grand promises deliver quality at all times your credibility is at stake make sure the work you're doing for the brand is a page or a brand that you'll be very happy to include in your portfolio the number three mistake i see a lot of social media managers make in this age and time when they are managing brand pages is the inconsistent branding and messaging when you fail to maintain um, a consistent branding and messaging across all social media platforms when you are using inconsistent elements visuals you are adapting different voice tones you are neglecting to align the social media content and other marketing efforts like for example if the client is trying to sell this ipad for example or no let's say they're trying to sell these stickers for example and then on another platform they are doing something else they are not aligning what they are the campaigns they are running on all social media platforms that's very very inconsistent branding you want to make sure that you are not making that mistake so what do you do strictly adhere to the client's brand guidelines and if they don't have one tell them to create one Tell them to meet a branding expert and create one. It's not your job to create a brand guideline for them. Also, create a consistent content strategy that cuts across all platforms as a social media manager. You also want to make sure that you regularly review and align the marketing objectives with the social media strategies across all platforms. You want to check that the social media content, your content strategy is cutting across with the, if they have like billboard signs, it is reflecting in the social media content and develop what i can tell you that you can do if the client doesn't have it is you can develop a brand voice guideline and make sure you as the social media manager stick to it and get the brand to stick to it and that's why you say i'm sorry no this post cannot go up i'm sorry we cannot jump on this trend okay the number four mistake i see a lot of social media managers make in this age and time is ignoring analytics and data driven decision making I have become a numbers girl since I started my master's degree and I can tell you there is so much that you can achieve if you focus on the numbers. You want to make sure that you know how to explain how much the client is paying you. The resources the client has invested in you as a social media manager is reflecting in their return on investment. Nobody wants to just be paying a social media manager for paying sake. They want to see the return on investment. Make sure make sure you are able to defend that you are able to defend the resources the time the energy the money that they are spending on you as the social media manager and how do you fix this mistake make sure that you are regularly analyzing the social media metrics and it is aligning with your kpis because even if a client doesn't have their kpis or they do not give you any set kpis for yourself i always do that i always set kpis for my youtube channels for my podcast episode Make sure that you set KPIs for yourself. Use A-B testing to test what is working, your current strategies, 
your content make sure you are doing a b testing try this one today try another one tomorrow if this one is not working maybe you try the, another one the next day make data driven decision don't just make decision based on a win check the data check the analysis what post is doing well what post is not doing well how can we make the post that is not doing well do better continuously adjust your strategy don't use the same strategy you're using in january in september things have changed the last but not the least and i can tell you this annoys me a whole lot one of the common mistakes i see a lot of social media manager make is they have poor communication and they lack transparency they have poor communication especially on their social media pages they don't keep their clients informed about the campaign progress they are always trying to downplay the negative results that they get they are always failing to seek input from the client and they don't they are not always responsive to client inquiries or concerns i have gotten feedback from clients from the social media managers i've recommended to clients that this person did this this person did this and that's what actually motivated this video how do you fix this establish clear communication channels i started one of my clients actually loves communicating via voice notes on whatsapp i'm not a whatsapp person but i had to do that because of the client some people like communicating via slack some people like communicating via google meet some people like communicating via zoom you need to make sure that you establish clear communication channels provide regular updates and reports even when there are no major news even if it's the same results that you got last month make sure you create it create an analytics report that actually shows that be proactive in addressing the challenges you face as a social media manager don't be waiting for your clients to tell you what you need to do you are the social media manager they came to you for a reason or they employed you for a reason be proactive i'm sounding like my mother right now respond promptly to client messages and concerns if they have any concerns about something try as much as possible. don't respond with your emotion because sometimes we, i do that as actually i do that but respond promptly i'm not saying respond immediately but respond promptly if they send you messages outside your working hours you can respond during your working hours the next day. be transparent about areas of improvement and also your successes be very transparent about it there is nothing to hide there is nothing new under the sun they say it every single time what you are doing somebody has done it before and even done it better than you be very 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 transparent these are five common mistakes i have seen a lot of social media managers make i have also made some of these mistakes by myself and i have learned from it make sure you learn from your mistakes as a social media manager or the mistakes of other people i hope this podcast episode helps you understand or helps you see where your shortcomings basically i wanted to say something else but i hope this podcast episode helps you realize where you are falling short of something of being actually the best social media manager for a brand or a business if you found this helpful you know what to do subscribe on youtube follow and rate on any of the podcast platform if you have any questions drop it on spotify or youtube and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye